Your friends are scrolling through short content, but you, my friend, you're here to learn. Welcome to Yara's Clips. Do you think that the right point to start this Oppenheimer story is actually to start with the origin story of Einstein? Oh uh, yeah, the origin story of the entire thing is the birth of quantum mechanics. That's okay. where all this starts. I mean, the atom bomb was uh, was developed because of the advances that we made in the first half of the twentieth century, which is the birth of quantum mechanics. Which is down to Einstein. Ah, uh, it, it it did not start with Einstein. It started with Max Planck. It started with uh, Marie Curie and uh, some other scientists who first discovered a few things, and then Einstein took those discoveries, which were so perplexing, and he showed throw uh, shown some light on that. and explained why these phenomena occur so that's how it was born maybe then we should begin slightly before quantum mechanics okay in order to just understand what quantum mechanics is in the first place okay let's do that so until the 19th century people believed that everything that should be discovered or could be discovered had been discovered and whatever new discoveries would be made would be at uh, you know the degrees of decimal points so 0.001% change or something like that so that's what people mostly believed and then there was this uh, new discovery or a new invention which was the light bulb So the light bulb has a filament inside, right? That, that yellow glowing filament, and there was a very brand new technology at the time, and various scientists were wondering how to perfect that. And one of the main questions in that was that if we take a light fill, a, a metallic filament in vacuum and we heat it, why does it glow with a certain color at a certain temperature? Okay, that was the big mystery that nobody understood. As in, at different temperatures, it would be green, red. Yes. blue etc yes that's okay. right so why does that happen and nobody had any, any idea why and then there there was a discovery of radiation which i believe happened at the very end of the 19th century which is that certain substances certain certain elements are naturally unstable and they radiate certain weird things at a at a constant rate so these were new discoveries that nobody could understand and nobody had any idea why why, why these things why these properties existed so that was the impetus for the birth of quantum mechanics and it was i think max planck in 1900 who came up with an equation with the, with the planck constant h which said that uh, atoms i mean uh, you know light behaves in a certain way and that essentially was the birth of quantum mechanics there was the birth of the quantum so h the the planck constant was the in, an integral part of that and then in 1905 einstein actually threw light on that as to why it is like this and so so, so 1905 is called einstein's annus mirabilis the miracle year in which he published five ground breaking papers i think it was five most likely five papers which threw light on very different topics but that was essentially uh, where we started understanding what quantum mechanics is what is the meaning of the word quantum what is the meaning of the word mechanics so mechanics uh, mechanics means how things work the mechanics dynamics statics all of that so let's say if i throw a pebble uh in front of me why does it go in a parabolic arc so that's newton's laws that's the mechanics of the fall of the of projectile motion so quantum mechanics is about how atoms behave and how the uh, subatomic particles in the quantum world in the ultra microscopic world behave so that's what it is now uh, the quantum is the leaps that uh, electrons make within an atom so for example you take the hydrogen atom it's just one proton at the center which is the nucleus and one electron that goes around it now why doesn't why, why if if an electron goes around the the nucleus then why doesn't it decay i mean uh, its its orbit should decay because of the laws of electromagnetism which say that a, a moving charge is going to radiate uh, uh, radiation it's going to give off radiation and therefore its orbit should decay and it should crash into the nucleus orbit should decay as in it will lose energy yeah, it will like lose energy car and, running out of petrol uh, almost kind of like that and the and, and the orbit should become smaller and smaller eventually it should crash into the nucleus mm. but that doesn't happen why is that so then max planck came up with a new uh understanding of the world that only certain orbits are allowed and if as long as the electron is in that orbit it will not decay ever so these are called quantum jumps each orbit is a certain quantum state so that's where the word quantum comes from so 1 n equal to 1 2 3 these are the various uh, different or, uh, orbits that the uh, that the electron can have and these the the principal quantum number n is is where the where the word quantum comes from okay yeah. how does this thought lead to the destruction of hiroshima and nagasaki then? yeah that's where it all begins but then yeah so <laughs> so initially we knew that we have atoms but what was the structure of the atom no one knew then there were, i don't know what the exact chronology is in which year what happened but then we discovered that the atom is mostly empty space but there's a nucleus at the center 
so that was one thing that was discovered then the electron was discovered and then it was discovered that atom the the nucleus of an atom contains protons and neutrons i think the proton was first discovered then eventually the neutron was discovered so neutrons are neutrally charged particles they don't they don't have any charge protons are positively charged electrons are negatively charged like charges repel each other opposite charges attract these are the basic uh, laws uh, so so that's how it happened so this is the beginning of quantum mechanics we understood what the nature of the atom is and then they discovered that certain elements i think it was discovered in the late 19th century that certain elements are radioactive they they give off some kinds of some kind of radiation now what that is was not understood but i think it was in the 19 late 1920s or early 1930s after the discovery of the neutron that it was discovered that certain uh, um, certain elements in the periodic table decay at a given rate because and and they emit uh, certain particles called alpha particles which are helium nuclei so so there are four different kinds of radiation uh, alpha particles uh, then beta particles which are electrons then there is gamma radiation and then there, there are neutrons so this was eventually discovered over time and then it was a german scientist i believe who who came across the idea that if a neutron can uh, hit an atomic nucleus and break it up and if the if the breaking of the atomic nucleus also releases more neutrons then if you have sufficient quantity of that substance then these neutrons will start hitting atoms one after the other it's going to cause a chain reaction which will give off more and more neutrons and that could give off an enormous amount of energy so that was the first time the idea of a nuclear reaction i mean explosion was thought about in the early 1930s this was a Ger german scientist if i am not mistaken and then at this time there was this geopolitical angle that adolf adolf hitler was was coming to power the nazi party germany had been uh, deeply humiliated at the end of the first world war the nation was destroyed and the economy was destroyed and then the nazi party comes to power hitler starts rebuilding the economy and he wants to rebuild germany's pride and regain its lost prestige in territories and all that and this was a very dangerous time hitler was seen as a very evil person he, obviously he was evil we can't deny that so he this, was very evil let's let's <laughs> yeah. oh, we need to put that on the record yeah, yes yeah we both we both think he was evil yes absolutely uh, and now we'll move on with the conversation because we're all about learning and correcting the past slightly right because at the end of the day we are experimenters researchers uh questioners and that past clip was just a form of understanding the truth better we've understood the truth he was satan in human form absolutely no okay. denying that let's go on sir so this guy the german scientist whose name i don't remember right now he came up with this idea that the release of uh, neutrons could give rise to a chain reaction which could give off an enormous amount of energy from a small amount of matter hmm. a radioactive element so this i think he this uh, idea i think he patented that and then he sold the patent if i'm not mistaken to the british government and eventually there is this guy called j robert oppenheimer who was an ex, who was a theoretical physicist uh he was in some university in the us and he came up upon, uh, upon this idea uh and he initially rejected it and he was of the opinion it can't happen but i think one of his students announced the he, one of his students discovered that german scientists had actually made this happen with uranium Uranium two thirty eight, I believe it was. There are there are two different isotopes of of uranium, two thirty five and two thirty eight mainly. So I think German scientists were the first to do this. They used neutrons to break apart a uranium atom, and that released more neutrons. So that is something that will definitely give you a chain reaction if you know how to make it happen. So that news. came out and then oppenheimer and his student they tried it out and they discovered that it actually works and then you had the birth of the atom bomb project because the germans had already taken a lead they had already done this experiment before the americans and anybody else so then the us government got involved in this so if you enjoyed this video make sure you check out this playlist for more videos just like this it's the rs clips